change after yet another deadly accident on a stretch of road near their home. Yesterday, a 29-year-old died and a passenger in that car went to the hospital with serious injuries after their SUV flipped. Penny, your side's Kara Dixon spoke to residents in Kara. They are concerned about this. Yeah, they are. They say vehicles just speed through that area, specifically 18 wheelers, many times going over that posted speed limit. Now, one of the neighbors has lived there for about 60 years. She's afraid to come outside of her house because of all the traffic, and she knows firsthand how quickly one crash can destroy lives. Oh, you son of a gun, you. You slow yourself down. It's speeding on Holland Road in Suffolk. That's terrifying these residents. You know, when I go out to get my mail, I have to hold on to the mailbox in order to be able to get my mail. Ardith McKeithen and Merrill Groves are neighbors. The two weren't surprised to hear about a fatal accident just down the road Sunday afternoon. It's been getting worse all the time. It's just too fast and people trying to make turns to come in the driveway. Groves knows firsthand how tragedy can strike here. I miss him very much. Her husband, John, died from the injuries he got in a crash last April. Uh, he was pulling in the driveway in his pickup truck and a big 18-wheeler hit him. Grove's accident, just one of at least 14, 10 on your side, has reported on the road since January of 2015. Six of them fatal. Oh, 68. That's why they're petitioning the city to lower the speed near the homes on Holland from 55 to 45 miles per hour. We went out to check to see how fast people were driving. 64, 67. 63, 63. Too fast for these neighbors and their families they worry about every time they visit. We have four kids, seven grandkids, seven great grandkids. I'm concerned about them coming, you know, getting in the driveway. It's not good. Until something's done to change this, they have a message for those who can do something about it. Slow down, slow down, make it to 45, slow down so that you don't have any accidents and things. Now, these residents are also hoping to get signs, flashing lights, and reflectors installed at the turnabout points on the road. Now, we did reach out to the city this afternoon on what it would take to change the speed limit. We plan on hearing from them tomorrow. I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.